Hello and welcome to Mike's Garage. I'm having fun. Anyway, what I want to say first is if you have not subscribed, please do. And when you do, be sure and tap the notification bell so you'll be notified every time a new video comes up. All right, we have been working on this bike for a while now, and all this is still strictly mock up. That's why the frame is still rough, rusty, all that. All that will get blasted and painted. But we've got the front end pretty well settled, so we know that'll all bolt together when it's all finished and everything's painted. We know the oil tank fits, the rear wheel fits, the brakes fit. All that stuff is pretty well fitted to the bike. So I thought, I can't wait any longer, and I've had enough requests for it, so let's put the motor in. Now, the thing with this motor or engine, which is actually correct, is that for me the easiest way to put it in place is with the top end off of it. Now there's nothing in it now. This is like I said just strictly for mock-up purposes. So I'm going to set the engine in place. I'm not going to shim it, which I will in the final build, but not just for putting it on. So here we go. And there it is in place. And let's see, I got some bolts here. Now these are not the final bolts even because I have brand new bolts. And we're going to put brand new ones in when we're done. Right now this is just stuff that was laying around the garage. I didn't clean those holes out very well. But there's one there. And one there. One there. Now they don't even need to be real tight. And let me get some nuts and washers. Got stuff on both sides of the bike. So, got, got the skid plate on the bottom, which is going to have to be blasted and painted. I think somebody still makes stainless steel ones. But I kind of like this nice original piece. And I'll paint it black when I put it together for the last time. Again, there's no parts in this engine. So while the engine is out, or while the uh, bike is out getting all kinds of crazy stuff done to it, I'll try to get a bunch of these parts settled down for the engine. But it's got to go over to Turner's Customs for the gas tanks to be fitted. So what I'd like to do is get the engine in so that we can uh, make sure that the tanks have proper clearance on the engine. You know, one of the biggest things with a uh, one of the biggest things with, with a mock-up is to realize that one of the most important things is that everything looks the way you want it to when you're done. It's one thing to picture in your mind what it's going to look like and another thing entirely to really get it there. In other words, I want the tanks to sit at the proper angle. I want them to give me enough distance between the engine and the tanks. All that sort of thing because it's not like putting a stock bike together. This is a combination of all the neat things I wanted. So what I did is I put the cam cover on with a couple of screws. I held the cases together. So this is what it looks like. So I think I'll just go ahead and put the cylinders in place. These are very heavy. One of the reasons I don't like to put these engines in all in one piece. 
in my youth maybe at this point, that's a heavy engine. I remember the first time I put an evolution engine in, I was all braced and ready to pick up this heavy thing, and it wasn't. <laughs> Just kind of got me. All right, starting to look like a motorcycle. I'm getting excited. Now these cylinders are going to need a lot of work. Uh, I'll probably have to have a pair of uh, pistons made for it. But that's not what we're concerned with now. Right now, we're concerned with everything fitting. And it's a whole lot easier to work with an engine that is uh, not together yet. And again, I'm not using all the new hardware. We have a whole new hardware set and all of the nuts and bolts on the engine are from the same chrome set. And they are beautiful. But for now, we'll do this. And we'll probably have some new valves and guides made. <clears throat> some other interesting trinkets and beads. Go over all the threads. Although they're all pretty nice. This was a pretty nice engine. I did actually ride it for a short while, about 30 years ago. <laughs> So there's the rear cylinder. We'll get the front cylinder and the heads on and see what it looks like in there. I had this, the cases, the cam cover, and the heads polished years ago. And then I put it away. And now I'm going to have to brighten it up again by hand. I know there's a lot of guys out there that would rather build rat bikes or bare metal bikes, that's fine. That's all well and good, whatever you like. It's not what I build. I like things polished. I like nice paint. Not a lot of chrome. I, I really, really enjoy polished aluminum. Okay, the rear cylinder is on. And we'll put the front one on. Didn't really wash this stuff up. All I did was blow off all the major dust. And this will have to stay together like this while the tanks are being fitted. So we're getting there right now. These are big, heavy cylinders. And these are, I think, the best ones to have. I think they're 13 fin. 13? I think it's 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 fin. Those are the preferred cylinders from what I understand. And we're going to do some pretty, pretty neat work to these cylinders before actually firing the engine. Okay. We're just going to put three on this front one because the, the right front corner is a little hard to get to. And I don't want to take the time to do it on this video. But we're going to get these cylinders both on. And then the heads. And then we can see what a tank is going to look like on this thing. Even though it won't be bolted on, we'll get the idea of what it's actually going to look like. Which has me kind of excited because it was an idea I had using VL tanks. And it may or may not be a crazy idea. What did I do? Did I put the wrong... 
I think I did. Okay, that's the front head. And we'll get the rear head on here in a minute. Now we can see what that tank is going to look like. I'm getting kind of excited again. Maybe there's something wrong with me. We'll just use a couple bolts to hold the heads on. And there is the front one. And these tanks are going to take a whole lot of modification to make them work on this bike. But we don't care. That's what we're here for. here. There's no gaskets, no nothing here. We'll have to be sure and allow just a little more space under the tanks. Okay, there it is. Oh my. Oh my. Okay, here comes that moment of truth. See if the tanks are going to look good with the motor. It's going to look roughly like that. You can match that line in the frame. I do believe it will look grand. Mike, can we see that with my hands in the way? All right. I'll probably have to see it on the video. There's no way I can t attach these tanks. Let's look at it from the other side. See what it looks like over there. This is the prettiest side of the motor over here. So if you can come around and get a look at it from here. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to put it a dent or two in the bottom of this tank to clear the spark plugs. Oh wait a minute, that's just an oil line there. We can remove that. Because we're not going to have an oil tank in this tank. Does that do it? I think so. I think we uh, mission accomplished. That being the case, before this goes over to Turner's Customs, um, I think I want to get the pipes out. People keep asking me what kind of pipes I'm going to put on it. And I've been not telling anyone because they're really special. So I think in the next video, we'll see if we can get the pipes on it. So I think if you got enough views of that thing, I think we're about there for now. I'm tickled. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. The next one, like I said, I think we'll start mocking up the pipes on it. So until then, I'll see you out on the road.